Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. So, Devin Haney versus Gary Russell. Man, <laughs> I like this fight. We finally got a fight we can promote. And first, I want to say, don't forget, nine o'clock every night during quarantine, we going live on the channel, nine o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And don't forget to click the link and join the Patreon and I, I I truly believe our Patreon members have made some money during quarantine. I have no doubt in my mind and and, and at least um, have thought about creating habits in terms of generating wealth. So anyways, man, we, we heard what Gary Russell said and we definitely heard what read what Devin Haney tweeted. And I'll say this. There's been so much at 135 people have been saying and people have been promoting about like, man, I, uh, I'm i going to fight this guy. I'm going to fight that guy. Listen, support those who support you. That fake news, people at 135 saying they're going to fight each other. They're not fighting each other, man. It ain't happening. If it didn't happen for two years <laughs> in real life, in real time, what makes you think it's going to happen now? You know, I mean, so many of these fighters gonna gonna come back making catch weights, especially if they don't have a belt. You know, what I mean, sanctioning bodies gonna be sanctioning fights that don't make sense because people can't make weight and they need some gang buster fights and so on and so forth. But I'll say this: this is a beautiful fight. Gary Russell versus Devin Haney is a great fight. Uh, Devin Haney had a fight at the MGM. I believe in May of last year, I believe he had that fight somewhere in there, right? Gary Russell's from there. I think that's a great East Coast fight. I don't think that fight does as as it should on the West Coast as it would on the East Coast. I'm uncertain of that, but I'm just, I like that fight on the East Coast. I like that fight at the MGM where you know it's going to sell out. You'll get 4,000 strong fans in there and you let it rip. You know what I mean? If PBC picks up the fight, that's a great Barclay fight, main event fight at Barclay. Um, just make sure they put some black people around that fight, dude. We don't need no motherfucking Puerto Ricans on the card, man. I'm not saying Puerto Ricans aren't black, but in terms of how they promote they, themselves in boxing, you know what I mean? Don't, don't do it, guys, man. Don't do it because I remember they did it to Earl Spence and they fucked it up. You know what I mean? They had all those Mexicans on the undercards and the crowd was 70, 80 percent black. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I think that uh, um, 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 you know what I mean? Cater to the fans that are coming. You know, I I'll just leave it at that. And um, we got to be cognizant of fighters manipulating media. It's just all gas, man. I know people want views and and everyone's losing money in this epidemic in terms of boxing, in terms of if you have a YouTube channel, uh, in terms of if you have Instagram, Twitter, no one's really. It's, it's been a cut, 20 to 40 percent probably for some people, you know, and this is when you got to be creative, you know what I mean? But, uh, but I'll say this, Devin Haney, Gary Russell gets me excited. It gets me fuck. Oh man, it gets my juices flowing, man. And uh, uh, I'll I'll be at that. You know, I'll, I'll cover both fights. As a matter of fact, uh, me and y'all know I have good good relationships with both fighters. I'll be in their camps. Uh, um, if you guys were to ask me to assess the fight. I don't even like breaking down fights that aren't even signed. You guys know that from day one. I'm not even gonna go there. If you saw my live the other night, you already know who, who I have as the favorite going into the fight. But I don't like breaking down fights that aren't signed. And that shit just it's just a waste of time, you know, for the most part. So um, but uh, I, I'm glad that's a real possibility. Finally, we got two fighters that want to fight each other. You understand what I'm saying? Gary Russell is fearless. 
Devin Haney has proven to be. He's young. He's 21. Uh, Gary Russell hasn't been consistent because people won't fight him. You know, he's only fought his mandatories. You know, that means he hasn't had any voluntary unifications. You know, I mean, he's never had. Has Gary Russell ever had? He's never had. A, you know, I mean, that's. I mean, that speaks volumes about the state of boxing and everyone between 122 and 130, you know. So, so today, um, uh, let's create these group economics. And because I'm going to tell you guys now from a financial standpoint, we better get this money. And I'll, maybe I'll do something on this um, at some point. But um, I, I've had two pandemics in my life. 2000 and and I'm calling the economy a crash 2008 and 2020 that's a 12 year stint so that means in my adult life every 12 years there's going to be something that halts the economy you know I've had two and I'm only 40 hold on my 77 I'll be 43 this year you know so um we have to be cognizant of that as not we but fighters and everyone making money moving forward, you have to be cognizant. Of, you better get you some assets, you know what I mean, that accrues money. But more importantly, you better get all the money that's rightfully yours. And, you know what I mean? Cut off all the cut off all the fat on the red meat, you know what I mean, before you sear it in the pan, you know what I mean? But sometimes fat adds a little bit more flavor. I understand for all the chefs out there, Fred, you know how to cook. But, uh, but in terms of the f fiscal evolution and and uh, heighten of yourself, cut off all the fat, you know, and, and, and you know, that's one of the core principles of, um, of this channel is financial literacy and financial accountability and responsibility. So, uh, so yeah, man, I, as I digress, this is a great fight. I love the fight. Uh, who wins? I'll gladly do a prediction video. I have no problem, no quorums telling both fighters who I believe is the favorite to win the um, respectfully, obviously. Um, and uh, and because I know I will cover each camp intimately, I mean, like intimately, meaning like as intimate as any media member can, uh, I won't disclose that stuff publicly and stuff like that in terms of now. So I'll just... But uh, but yeah, man, that, that fight got my juices flowing. Oh man, I, hey, I was so excited for this fight because I know it's a pop. I know this is the only fight at one thirty five that's capable of happening that we can enjoy. That we can enjoy. That I actually did their ring entrances on my Instagram page. I was that excited for this fight. You know, what I mean, I was just playing around that night. You know, we on quarantine time. You know, what I mean, we on quarantine time. So I just. Uh, uh, did they did, did they read the introduction? So, anyways, man. So that's it. That's all I got to say. Sign the contract. You know. In actuality, think about it. Uh, uh, Gary Russell said uh, Al Heyman promised him Leo Santa Cruz, but if if you don't give him Leo Santa Cruz, this is a great. You know what I mean? Because this definitely the winner of this fight takes off, and a winner, and especially if it's Gary Russell, he's the king of the little weights. Uh, I mean, he's the king of the. Because why I say that? I think Gary Russell has the frame where he can go from one thirty five, one thirty, one twenty six. You know what I mean? Because he was he weighed one forty three, so he can make one one twenty six easy. Uh, so, um, so I think that, uh, man, let's make this fight happen, man. If Gary Russell wins this fight, he's the king. He's the king of 135 and below. Nobody's better than him if he beats Devin Haney. If Devin Haney beats Gary Russell, oh man, he gonna have so much. He gonna have so much clout in these streets. I, I call uh, Gary Russell Odell Beckham because he has no ceiling. You understand? And I call Devin Haney. I've told Mr. Haney, I call him Shane Mosley without the Shane Mosley power. You know, I just think he's physically gifted, you know. So so at the end of the day, um, exciting fight coming, hopefully. I mean, keep your boxing fingers crossed and we can make this fight happen. Anyways, man. Um, so that's basically it, man. And um, 
I'll, uh, I had to come back here because you ever, you ever, uh, I'll, I'll talk about it in another video. It's, it's his own top. So anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man, feel free, hit the subscribe button. And, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.